Hey guys, and welcome to my bathroom. Um, today I am going to dye my hair. I know it's completely different than what I usually do, but I've heard of this stuff. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's called Overtone. I see it all over Instagram, all over social media, and I figured I like dark hair, so why not try it out? As you can see, my hair is like, it's like this mousy brown color. I got some like highlights going just from the sun this, sum this summer. This is the espresso brown one. Don't know if you've seen it. Um, it came in the box and when it came in the box, it came with gloves, which I opened because I wanted to see what kind of gloves it came with. And of course it comes with one like, nope, there's two. They're like super cheapy gloves though, so I'm not gonna use those. Um, I grabbed my own hair dyeing gloves that I use when I dye my hair. So yeah, my hair is dirty right now, which I think is good on the directions. On the back of it, we can just go over that real quick, just says, directions, using gloves, apply evenly to hair, wait 10 to 15 minutes and rinse clean. So it says to use weekly to refresh and when I looked it up online it said that the colors range from washing out in like a week or never ever completely lifting from your hair. So it's kind of like demi permanent which is what I usually like if I was going to do it myself would get from Sally's I would get some demi permanent and I would just throw it on there. So yeah not that I mean I guys I'm not a cosmetologist I really know nothing about any of this. I know that I need a haircut. Here we go. I'm gonna put my gloves on and we'll get to it. What I'm gonna do is, should I section it off? I think I'll section it off a little bit. So what I, last time I went and got my hair done at a salon, um, which was over a year ago, um, she, dyed like the top of it and then she just pulled it through like the last part like towards the end just to kind of give it like a darker at the roots lighter at the ends kind of thing going on so I think that's what I'm gonna do as well so it does come sealed but that seal was not sealed Guys, I'm so excited about this. I have towels all over the bathroom because I'm like the worst at making sure I don't get it everywhere. Okay, and here's another thing. I recommend wearing like a button down kind of shirt because then you don't have to like pull it up over your head to get it off after you're done dyeing yourself. Learned that from my mom. She's been dyeing her hair at home well, before she let herself go completely gray, she dyed her hair at home for years. So I'm gonna go probably to about like, hmm, like here-ish and like, I don't know, I'll pull some through the ends toward the end. So I have quite a bit of hair. My hair is fine, it's a little fine but there's like a lot of it, if that makes sense. Um, I think I've heard it be called thick but fine, which doesn't make any sense to me, but, um, and so far I can tell that this little one, ooh, oh my goodness, okay, well, we're just gonna go for it. Hopefully that'll come off. Um, I can already tell this one little jar is gonna do my hair multiple times. Probably maybe just like, twice but definitely multiple times I should have put Vaseline on my skin because that helps to create a barrier so that you don't dye your skin so much and I gotta tell you guys this mm, it smells so minty it smells like mint it doesn't smell like gross at all I love that And the thing that's great about this is that you only have to leave it in for like 15 minutes. So it's like real easy for you to just put this in at home on a Sunday 
and just, you know. And they have like really fun colors. They have like pinks and purples and blues and like essentially any color you could really think of. I just, uh, I like my hair naturally colored personally. It's hard because I'm out on the road and I know that really like super colorful hair, it's really beautiful but it's like a lot of maintenance which is really hard for me to do from on the road. So this will just probably fade to a pretty color, I'm hoping. And then I won't have to really worry about it and doing any maintenance. Okay, I'm gonna do like one more like chunk here just to kind of make sure that like my roots and stuff and halfway down my hair is like really saturated then I'm gonna go set a timer for about 12 minutes and then I'm gonna come back and just put the rest in my hair and then it says 10 to 15 minutes but with deposit hair color you can leave it in longer I mean when I used to put the demi in my hair I would leave it for like 45 an hour I would just like go watch an episode or two of whatever show I'm watching and then uh, wash it out and it's not gonna hurt your hair so um, I'm gonna go set a timer for like 10 minutes 12 minutes and then I will be back and it's been about 10 minutes um, and I'm just going to put it on the rest of my hair now and then I'll just leave that for I mean not even long probably at all um, and then yeah we'll rinse this out I've also come to notice that that's how much I have used so far, just in like the top half of my hair. So I'll probably end up using this whole thing. So I want to make sure it's like super saturated, right? So. Okay, so let's just rub this in up top a little bit. Make sure we're good. And there is a little bit left in the jar. Um, so yeah, if you have like shorter hair, you might be able to get two uses out of one one little tub jar or whatever feels pretty saturated to me all right y'all i am going to go rinse this out um best i can and then i'm going to um dry it and you know come back and show you guys what i think all right so Final thoughts, what do you guys think? I mean, it's definitely a darker. It's got like a red hue to it, which I was not expecting. And you know, if you're gonna try and cover grays, I have like a gray hair right here. I can definitely still see my gray hair, but my hair feels really good. I have to say it's like super soft, super shiny. I really like how shiny and soft it is. Um, it is darker. It's not as dark as I had expe expected. All in all, I think it turned out really good. I really loved that it sm smelled really minty. You know, it didn't have that normal like hair dye smell that's just awful. I hate it. Um, I do wish it was a little bit darker and that it had less of like a chestnut undertone because it does have like a like a red undertone. But all in all, I think it turned out really well. I think there are highlights and lowlights and it looks really natural. So if you're going for something that's like super duper natural looking, this is probably your best bet, this overtone stuff. Cause also you can just like do a refresher like every weekend and like keep your hair just like this color. So it has been two months 
about eight weeks since I did the overtone on my hair and as you can see it's back to my natural color um I would say that it started fading pretty quickly like by the time I got to the point where I wasn't nervous about staining my clothes it was already like faded out of my hair so it definitely did not stick very well in my hair I decided to try uh, Madison Reed this time inside of the box it comes um, with instructions and a 100% guarantee, money back guarantee. And then inside the box we have, this is like the developer and the color. Gloves, a cap. Um, I got a strengthening booster because my hair is so long that I wanted to try that. And then it comes with a shampoo and a conditioner packet. And over here we have a barrier cream and a cleansing wipe. So I'm not sure down in the description I'll put you know the price difference for the two but this one was a little more expensive. I got a messing around brown. So what I'm doing is I'm putting the color into the developer. You just squeeze it right in there and I think you can you could use a bowl too if you wanted to. I just find this to be easier. So you put it in here together and then you just give it a shake get it all fully mixed and then you'll we'll see it says in the instructions like it comes with a whole remember the overtone had barely any instructions but this comes like a whole thing like have you ever done the like at home box evil colors you get from the store so it reminds me more of like those but apparently this is supposed to be like salon quality that comes in like a box like what you get from the store so this has like all a whole thing of instructions i'm not new to coloring my hair i kind of know what i'm doing i did give it a little read over so my hair is dirty um it says to not have any product in it i think i had i put some leave-in conditioner in my hair when i uh washed it after i washed it last so i don't think that'll make much of a difference if it does it's only on my ends anyway so and my roots have nothing but grease in it so so there's that they have, okay, the barrier cream. I'm gonna use it. Maybe, maybe, am I gonna use it? No, I don't think I'm gonna use it. I'm just gonna be careful. Um, I don't wanna use it. Gloves. I will use the gloves because I'm not staining my hands up. Ooh, and these are like, ooh. First of all, it comes with two pairs of gloves, which the overtone only came with one pair of gloves, and they were like the, from what I remember, they're like the clear, they're, these are better, these are like actual like gloves you would buy for hair coloring. So, that's nice. And I really hope this is enough for my whole head. Um, okay, so I'm going to brush my hair real quick. Out. I hate brushing my hair. I feel like I damage it every time I do which I probably do, but sometimes you just gotta brush, right? Give it a good brush. I should probably, should I section it off? I think I did last time, so. It says in the instructions to do four sections. I'm not following the instructions completely. Doing, can't tell me what to do, okay? We'll start at the roots.
I think that's as far as I'm gonna pull it down for now. As you can see, I still have, I don't know, maybe lost five, six inches of my hair. Um, I'm gonna wait like 10, 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna use the rest of the bottle all the way to my ends and I'm gonna like comb through, make sure it gets all saturated, then wait another 10, 15 minutes. And then we'll rinse it out. Okay, and we're back. So I'm going to color just the rest of my hair here. And then I'm gonna use my very wide tooth comb to comb it through the ends. I have this much of the bottle left, which is hopefully enough. All right, so I'm just gonna give it a little massage, make sure we got it saturated, which I do think we do. And I also think I'm gonna absolutely adore this color that it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be perfect. Um, I'm gonna give it like 10 more minutes, seven, I don't know, 10 more. I don't really feel like there's, you can let it develop too long. But I'm gonna give it about 10 more minutes and then rinse it. And then I will be back to show you the finished product. All right, so this is the finished product. My hair feels like really good. It's like really soft. Um, I did condition it when I was in the shower because I always condition right after I color. But what do you guys think? Can you tell a difference? I mean, it's definitely darker. I think it's a little lighter than I like thought I was gonna do but also it's beautiful I I love this color this might be my new like thing that I do so that's that and that's my Look how shiny it is you guys isn't it so pretty um so yeah so on the box it says it lasts six to eight weeks so I'm gonna check back in with you guys in six to eight weeks and let you know how it held up and what I think and if this is my new favorite hair product for coloring. So, thanks for watching guys. See you in six to eight weeks. Hey guys, okay. So, I just wanted to do like a really quick check in with you because I'm going to get my hair done today. It has been about six, possibly eight weeks since I've used the Madison Reed hair dye on my hair. And I have to say that I really liked it. I think my hair has looked like really shiny over the last few weeks. I haven't had a haircut in far too long. I can't even remember when the last time I got my haircut was. Um, and I definitely think it looked a bit healthier since doing my, the Madison Reed. Um, Definitely better than like box dye. And I do think that I liked it, especially for the price, way more than Overtone. I think Overtone is good for different things than what I am looking for. But this is how it stayed. I think the color stayed in it um, better than the Overtone for sure, definitely. Um, I think I started noticing fading after like two weeks or like six washes or so. It started fading a little bit and then, I don't wash my hair much. That's another thing y'all should know is I wash my hair at the most every other day, but I try to do like every three days. Like this is definitely a wash day for me, but like I said, I'm going to get my hair done. So um, I use dry, dry shampoo uh, in between my washes. So uh, yeah, 
So I hope this video helped like somebody, anybody make a decision on those things. Like I said, I think for the, for the, for the price, for what you get, I definitely think Madison Reed is a better option if you want a more permanent hair color. But I do think that the overtone is fun for if, um, let's say you have like a light brown hair and you want to see what dark hair would look like on you. That would be a great option for you to like get the overtone, do overtone in your hair because I feel like it would really fade out. Every hair is different and I am not a professional so take it for what it is. But I feel like it would fade out um, after a few weeks. I do feel like my hair was pretty much back to the way it was before the overtone after like three weeks. After like six washes it was like out. So yeah, so that's what I got for you. I hope you guys found this video helpful and interesting. It took me very many months for me to make it, so I hope you liked it. I'm gonna go now get my hair professionally dyed because that's what I decided to do this time. It's like $70 to go and get your hair like professionally dyed if you're just doing deposit and not lifted. So I figured, you know, twice the money, maybe it'll last longer though because I don't know about y'all's hair, but my hair, it feels like the roots have a hard time sometimes taking the color, so professionals know how to do that better than me. <laughs> Alright, so that's all I've got for you and I will see you next time. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Why am I doing this with my hands? I don't even know. <laughs> Bye!